It's been almost a month since I posted a video. What have I been doing? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the first ever actual correctly titled episode of Through My Eyes. I am, as you know, Paul Savio, and I'm going to be talking to you about whatever comes to my mind over the next however long we're here. So, first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the Canadian election results. I was going to post a video a week or two ago about my thoughts on the election campaigns, but because I work and I'm very busy, I was unable to do that. But now I can talk to you about the election results and my thoughts on the Conservative Party of Canada winning a majority government. I'm not pleased, personally. I'm not a conservative thinker, um, not in the sense of our Conservative Party of Canada. I'm not extremely appalled. I do think Harper can make some good ideas but I also think he has made some poor decisions in the past. That being said, I am very pleased with the opposition. For the first time in Canadian history, the Liberals were beat out by the New Democratic Party, headed by Jack Layton. This is a big surprise, considering that well, it's never happened before, and also since the Liberals have hit an all-time low, only getting about 34 seats. This is really surprising to me, because as a kid, I, I was a liberal. I'm not anymore. I won't say who I vote for, because I don't want hate mail. But I am very pleased to see that Canada has finally made a decision to try something new, to get rid of the old only blue or red system, and try some orange in there for once, see what happens. The only reason the NDP got so many seats, though, is because the Bloc Québécois plummeted they went from 30 or so seats down to 2 or 3, which is, again, an all-time low. And, not surprisingly, after results like that, but the Bloc Québécois leader, Gilles Duceppe, announced shortly after the election results were clarified that he would be resigning. So, yeah, it makes sense to me. <laughs> I, I can't really expect him to do anything else, like... Huh, my party is lost. I'm going to leave. So, and on the notes of party leaders leaving, the liberal leader, Michael Ignatieff, also resigned a day after the election results. Uh, he had stated in his press conference after the uh, election that he would stay as liberal leader as long as he was wanted there by the liberal party members. Apparently, they didn't want him because no longer the Liberal leader. I think that the Liberals, the Conservatives, the NDP, the Bloc, and for the first time ever the Green Party has a seat. I think that considering that we have such a oblong cabinet now, considering we've never had an NDP opposition, we've never had the Green Party having a seat, the Liberals and the Bloc Quebecois have pretty much dissipated. I think we're going to have a very interesting four years. I'm a little worried because now Harper pretty much has the ability to pass every bill he thinks of, and he hasn't had all too many great ones. Like, he did approve the HST. That was McGinty's fault, though, so we'll throw that out the window. But basically, I'm excited to see what's going to happen over the four years that Harper is in, uh, in term because I can't do anything else. <laughs> so, those are my thoughts on the Canadian election. I would like to know what you guys think about the Canadian election, if you guys are Canadian, or even if you're American, or UK, or wherever you're watching this from. I'd be very interested in hearing what you guys think about our election results. And, until next time, I'm Paul Savio, and stay average.